Hello. Hello, hello. Resident uh, griefer and all-around knowledgeable guy on Eve. <laughs> For assessment, for assessment. Yes, I think that uh, he is uh, one of uh, the most expert griefers in the game. And um, so uh, I, I know that because I was victim to it uh, at the beginning. That's how we got to know each other. So uh, let's see here. So uh, what I've got here on the screen here is, uh, is my freighter. And uh, this... Uh, um, this weekend, we had the instance of I got bumped in a system. I got bumped a lot in, uh, in the system and uh, had to call out for help. And uh, Fatley, you kind of read, or led the, uh, the charge to, to come out and help. Um, so let me, just, let me just set this up. Uh, I was going through, I had, uh, I don't know, I had about uh, $3 billion worth of stuff on me. And I was in a point, uh, point zero, or I was in a point six system. And uh, on a normal route, wasn't anything special about it. Um, usually, the gank stuff mostly happens in uh, in the in like point five, but um, but it does it does happen in uh, in other systems as well sometimes, and. So uh, I was just traveling through, and I got bumped by um, what are they called? Is it, I, I keep wanting to call them a miracle, but that's not what it, that's not what those are. Uh, I pr pronounce them as macarial. Macarial. So there's a couple of changes. Yeah. So uh, macarial, and um, they they're a pretty big ship. They're uh, you know volume wise maybe about as big as my freighter, and um, and uh, they can get some pretty good speed. Um, uh, bumping you. So basically, when a freighter gets bumped, the the biggest problem is is overspeed. And so um, I uh, was going uh, every time they'd bump me, I'd go up to about 350, uh, maybe almost 400 uh, meters per second. And I need to uh, I need to be at like uh, 80 uh, per second in order to jump the freighter. And so, or to get it into warp. And uh, so they keep you over, you know, on overspeed, and you can't get aligned properly, and, they, and they're able to bump you um, and keep bumping you out. And so basically, what they did was, is they kept bumping me. I talked to the guy. He wanted a billion uh, isk for me to, to leave me alone. And I, um, I didn't refuse, but I didn't say okay either. Uh, and, but I had no, I had no assurance that he was going to honor his word and, and let me go if I even did pay that. Uh, so they, they, um, uh, kept bumping me and got me to around a thousand off of the gate and, uh, brought in their first fleet of, um, of, uh, oh gosh, catalysts. Catalysts, and there were not enough of them. There was not enough of them. And uh, so there was, um, I think that there was, I don't know, I think there was 14 of them. Uh, and it was not enough. It got through my shields and a little bit into my hull, but not, not quite enough. So I put out the call because I'm like, okay, this shit's real at this point. And uh, I put out the call. That was probably about 30 minutes into it. Uh, I put out the call and um, Fatley and many of the other hogs came out to my rescue, uh, and also there was some anti-ganking people there that saw what was going on, some sort of anti-ganking uh, fleet, and I don't know who they were, but thank you guys for showing up, and uh, basically got reps on me, uh, got me back to full health, and, and so now uh, the obvious, okay, so, so the real easy part of explaining all of this, uh, Fatley, is that, is that, you know, uh, reps were kept on me, and uh, then, you know, hoping that they would go away because, because they were not having success. But then you instructed me in some other stuff, which I thought was absolutely crazy, but it worked in the end. Uh, can you kind of go through what you were trying to accomplish uh, when, when this was happening? 
Uh, so first off, when I instructed you, uh, first I instructed you to log off in space. And basically, uh, at that time, when I gave the order, um, I didn't know that you had already been attacked by the catalyst. I was sort of rushing. I hadn't clear idea of the picture. But logging off when you're being bumped in the first part can help you just simply um, exit from space immediately. Like, well, 15, it takes 15 minutes sometimes depending on what has happened, but it can help you get away from it irregardless of whether you're being bumped or not. So if I start getting bumped next time, then just uh, just log off and fly another character out to that uh, system and just watch to make sure I disappear or that they haven't attacked? Uh, first would be get and get someone else in fleet and get someone to where you are so that they can watch. Yes, watch that. You make sure that you do log off instead of catalysts coming in and helping keep you there by resetting your aggression timer which is what keeps you in space right and so when they when they shoot me it resets that timer and that timer is like 15 minutes or so every time you engage in an aggressive action which is shooting webbing something aggressive you get an aggression timer and it, it lasts 15 minutes from the second that stops okay okay and um so, yeah, so, so you instructed me to uh, log off, which I thought was pretty crazy, but um, it, uh, I did log off, and uh, via watching, via another character, after just a couple of minutes, my freighter warped away, and I thought everything was good. It wasn't really, though. <laughs> no, the obelisk is a gigantic ship, as is any freighter, and they were able to combat probe you down almost instantly and warp directly back on top of you and keep bumping you. Oh, because that's you that how that happened. Timing, you were still in space. Okay. Okay. So, so basically, um, we, we had a couple of things going on. And this, by the way, everybody, lasted for almost two hours. It was just barely short of two hours in total from the first time I got bumped until the time I got docked up. And um, it was uh, uh, a little bit nerve-wracking. I thought about having some drinks while this was going on, but then I thought, well, maybe I won't have good decisions if I do that. <laughs> there were a couple of things you could have done better as well, naturally, because, you know, getting bumped is kind of a jarring experience and when it's like your first or second time happening. You're not really sure what to do, or what's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, so basically what we did was we, we, uh, you ended up putting, a, I'd say, a, a net of ships around my ship uh, and um, waiting for my timer to go away so that I could log off. And then uh, keeping the, um, the catalysts that came in, uh, you guys actually engaged them, or some, somebody engaged them. I noticed several fights coming in. Uh, where they engaged uh, because we we're in logistic ships we couldn't do too much to combat them however we do have drone space we had combat drones out occasionally we were activating kill rights on any catalysts that were coming in that had them so that we could remove them from the field by mm -hmm. killing them or someone mm -hmm. else killing them mm -hmm. which by the way i uh i put out the kill rights on all of the ships that uh that attacked me and um two-thirds of those have been redeemed already <laughs> That would probably be what we were activating. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so eventually what happened was is that I was able to get logged out. And then when I came back in, um, uh, I think they eventually gave up because they, that, that's what Welcome happened is we, we didn't, dragons. we didn't actually get to a point to where we got, uh, safely logged out. I think that they got tired and eventually gave up. Is that correct? My estimate of what happened is that we eventually got enough armor rep ships and, and shield rep ships that it was impractical to still get through your ship without full alpha, which is the most expensive way to do it. And so it just became not worth it, and they stopped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, many, how many ships did you have to bring out to do that? How many ships were involved? I think in the end we brought out a total of 15 logistic ships. I know there was at least eight armor logistics on, on the field and five or six shields. Mm -hmm. and, and those ships, um, 
those ships are able to, even though we were in high sec, uh, uh, it, it's not considered aggressive to uh, to rep uh, my ship, correct? We were able to rep your ship on uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, we were in fleet with you, and two, the people that we were repping against, we could freely engage ourselves because they were criminals or suspect. So we didn't have to go suspect ourselves to repair your ship. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay. So what would you recommend for the future? How can I how can I fly my freighter through space like this and either uh avoid getting ganked or or yeah, I suppose let's start with how can I avoid getting ganked? Can I avoid it? Uh, ultimately if someone has a a desire to kill you specifically because you've done them wrong or you're a well-known person, um, they're going to do it regardless of what you're flying. So that's number one. Sometimes death is just unavoidable. Mm -hmm. However, to start with, with freighters in any type of hauling, uh, for instance, I'm currently killing Tech 1 haulers who break this rule, don't carry too much value in your ship. <laughs> that's a rule that you have? You'll kill them if they carry too much value in their ship? I'm specifically looking for haulers who have more than 240 million because at that point it is profitable for me to kill them. Ah, yes. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And okay. that's ultimately the driving force behind most ganks in high sec? Mm hmm. Not all. Exceptions. But, but, because code will do it based off of religion or whatever they want to call it. But, whatever they refer to call it, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but others who do this for a living. Uh, they they assess okay you know this it's this type of freighter here's how many you know EHP it can have you know at max or whatnot here's how much value it's hauling what's determined may drop and kind of just do the math and see whether or not it's uh, profitable to engage. Yep, and typically they will know exactly what's on your ship and exactly what's in the cargo hold, and they will know. Um, to a maximum and to a T, exactly what they need to bring. And I'm surprised they kind of failed on you the first lot. I assume they were bringing a second wave, and indeed I did hear they did, and mm -hmm. they failed because of the amount of logistics on the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they brought two waves, and and I and then I think they brought some ships in to try and reactivate the timer that didn't get through. Um, so and that's what they that's what the guy told me. He's like. Um, you know, I, I thought it was pretty funny whenever they brought out these ships and it only, you know, it took my shields off and just, you know, I, I still had 80% armor. And uh, I'm like, oh, this is a fail on their part. Um, and uh, he told me that, uh, that, no, this is the way that it works, that they were going back to reship, which they have, um, don't they have uh, a timer on them as well? Uh, that they that they can't fly out into high sec space uh, until that timer falls off, and I don't know how long that timer is. It's the same as the non-aggression. It's fifteen minutes, and if they get into any ship that isn't a shuttle or a pod, they will be destroyed again. Right, right like when they during, undock during that time. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I guess uh, part of their tactics would be to send out just a couple of lone ships to uh, reset the timer. Um, that would sacrifice themselves for the uh, for the rest of the gank fleet. Yep, and indeed they did at one point. They sent a single catalyst to come and reactivate your aggression timer. Um, so it was kind of pointless to log off too much at that point because 15 minutes were being kept regardless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome to the so, dragons. So next time um, I get into uh, a situation where I'm being bumped... Uh, if I am understanding correctly what you said previously, basically, if I start getting bumped and it looks like it's going to continue for a while, then make sure I have another ship there to watch my ship and uh, that make sure it doesn't get attacked by anything and log it out. And uh, if I make it past 15 minutes without uh, them throwing a, an attack at it, uh, then it has safely logged off. Is that correct? Uh, if you have not been shot and you log off as you're being bumped, I believe the timer is as low as 60 seconds. Oh. 
Hmm. So if they do not come and shoot you immediately once they see you've logged off, you're probably just going to disappear in space on them, and they're going to be screwed. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best first defense. Um, that would be your first defense, although that's once you start getting bumped. Obviously, there's things you can do before that to sort of mitigate it. Right, right. Uh, so one of the things that I've perfected pretty well uh, to keep from getting bumped is uh, to web the freighter for a fast jump. And um, I've been able to reduce uh, jump times uh, down to about 30% of, of the normal amount of time it would take. And so using that method in a hostile area, I could conceivably get jumped before, um, b before a ship got to me to bump me. So... Um. If no, um, I mean webbing will help, and some people will miss because they're inexperienced or not able, or they just get a bad spot on the gate. But most of the time, freighter is going to be bumped if it, if someone's going for it. Yeah, I'm actually able to jump within about twenty seconds of of appearing in space. So. Yeah, those materials can cover the distance from the gate to you in about ten. Yeah. So I guess they have to notice me, and want to want to, to do me harm. You have already been picked out as a right. target. Right. Right. So you usually won't know if you've been picked as a target because they will have passive targeters and have scanned your ship before you even saw this material. Right. Right. And so uh, and so I did see that. Uh, that's how I first knew that I had a problem. I saw in um, my overview the yellow box um, around them. And uh, so I knew that they were scanning me. So, um, okay. Well, any other, any other thoughts on on anything else to prevent um, ganks like this? I mean, of course, I have to thank you guys for all coming out. It helps to have a great corp <laughs> and to be able to holler, "Hey, come help me!" Because um, you guys did a fantastic job. So. There's a couple of things. If you're if you're not alone, or if you have assistance available, who you know you can call on. The second you start getting bumped, and it looks like it's going to continue, uh, you can try log off. You can try calling for help. I would say do both, because the worst thing that happens is if a couple friendlies come out, and it's nothing. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, Fatley, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, um, coming on the show today and uh, answering those questions. And uh, so I feel just a little bit safer now, knowing better what to do. But you're never safe. To stay safe, you have to stay in dock. <laughs> so, okay, Fat Lee, thank would you. fly safe and Eve, but uh, fly smarter would be better. Oh, fly smarter, yes. Very good advice. Okay, thank you, Fat Lee.